good morning. Welcome back to the course. We had a uh, tropical depression blow through South Florida last night, and the remnants are still uh, still hitting us pretty good. We're kind of in this weird patch where um, uh, it's dry. There's no rain, but to the south and north of us, there's heavy bands of rain. But the course is just beyond saturated. It's completely unplayable for one, but we're just out here doing a, um, uh, I guess a, a, a maintenance check, picking up debris, doing whatever we can do um, to get it ready for tomorrow. So no play today, 100%. And I don't think we'll be here all day. We're supposed to be here till 3.30, but um, you can see how it looks. And you can hear the wind. It's 35 to 40 mile per hour gusts. There is uh, clearing but there's also just heavy rainfall. So we'll see. I appreciate you guys joining me. This should be interesting. Here's just a little update of the um, hydraulic leak. So they decided in the end to just cut it up basically, and we're gonna start anew. So they did a pretty good job of cleaning the whole area up, but yeah, this part wasn't ever coming back. So we're just out here with our uh, blower right now, getting the cart pass cleaned up the best we can. The course looks actually pretty good. Just some uh, debris like that, but there is standing water you can see right there. So you can't play on it, but it's in much better shape than I thought it would be. Um, I've seen it actually a lot worse following just a regular storm, let alone a tropical depression. So the storm itself has moved out of the area, which is good. Um, so it looks like we're going to do a full day instead of going home early, which obviously is, is good. You get to make some money. So uh, we're going to continue getting after it here. Probably made like four uh, drops back in the shop full of stuff. So uh, we're just going to front nine. Um, so it's going pretty well. Um, this is hole number eight. You've probably seen me mow that green multiple times. Uh, so just one more hole to go, and then we'll see what we're doing in the afternoon. The bunkers are in really bad shape. I'm guessing that's what we'll be doing next. Good morning. This is a little different site as far as green. This is number 12. So basically we had that tropical storm blow through yesterday and it was just all debris pickup. The course is still in pretty bad shape, but at least we can mow today. We got no mowing done yesterday. So the back nine is considerably better than the front this morning. So that's why we're gonna start on the back and move our way over to the front. It's 6.08 in the morning. Um, you can see the sky is clearing a little bit. It's 81 degrees out, but there's still remnants of the storm coming towards us. So we could get a little wet here, but we should have a little window to at least get number 12 done. All right, so we got four knocked out. Sorry, I'm hustling a little bit. I just checked the radar, and uh, we're definitely gonna get popped pretty good here in a minute. So I don't wanna get this, this is number 16. I don't wanna get it halfway mode and then have to stop and maybe the day's canceled and then you have a half mode green and I don't know. But we're gonna hustle up a little bit here and see if we can't get this one done before the storm. I believe it's gonna be coming from that direction. So, I'll keep you guys posted, but it's definitely coming. Hopefully you can see the lines in the green. They're very faint, but they're there, I promise. I just felt a raindrop, so we gotta get moving. We're only about halfway done. All of that hasn't been mowed.
as predicted, we got popped pretty good there. Uh, you can see it clearing up on the tail end of that little uh, cell. So we should be good. Um, we're headed to number four. I was looking at the radar a little bit more and I think we might get one more shower, but uh, then that should be it. So we should be all right. But yeah, that, was, that thing came in fast. So we are at hole number four. We're used to me starting off in the mornings. Usually it's very dark. Um, so we completed the back nine and we are now starting on the front nine as far as mowing greens. We did have a 30 minute delay and it was actually after the rain because there was lightning within a 25 mile radius. Seems a bit excessive to me, but that stuff can move fast and you just want to be safe. Um, but you can see on the front, there's still a little standing water. Um, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be sloppy. I don't think people are going to be driving on the fairways, but we'll have to see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this flag off the green and get it mowed. And the sun is out. It's 82 degrees. Now we took off our rain gear jacket. So we're just leaving the 8th green. We just finished it up, which means we're done mowing greens this morning. We're going to head back to the shop, get washed up, and see what we're hitting next. Got some news for you as well. So as we stare out, of, out over water that shouldn't be here versus water that should be here, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that job uh, interview application process that I've been going through. Um, as you know, maybe watching some of the older videos, um, it's been about two weeks and I hadn't heard anything back. Well, yesterday I finally heard back from them. Um, so I got some good news. They actually offered me the job there, which I'm super pumped about. Um, there are some things to go along with it that I kind of wanted to share. Um, the first of which is they want me to study to be a spray technician um, by the time my first six months are up. So basically what that means is um, I have to get licensed in the state of Florida uh, within the first six months and then um, I'll pretty much um, be good to go. They said it wasn't a you know, if six months comes along and I'm still not licensed, it's a deal breaker. So I feel like there is some wiggle room there, but um, yeah, that was the exciting part. And the reason why is because it, you get paid a little bit more if you do that. And um, obviously in the interview, we kind of talked about money a little bit. And um, so I think that that was the avenue that they got a little creative with and came up with. Not only that, but the current spray technician is leaving. So yeah, so I'm excited. I'm not 100% sure uh, why it took so long to hear back. Um, obviously I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I got the job, but uh, this place is uh, pretty formal as I kind of mentioned. Um, and it's actually their HR person that reached out to me um, who's working from home, understandably. Um, so I think that contributed to it. it. It was just a different experience than like when I got my job here, I basically showed up, met with the superintendent and he was like, well, well when can you start, fill out this paperwork, see you Monday. This place is, um, I don't know, it's just a lot more formal. So that's exciting, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know why the two weeks went by, but um, perfectly fine with it now so uh yeah so in case you didn't see the other video um one of the reasons i'm wanting to leave is this place is much closer to my home uh which is which is awesome and um yeah and the opportunity to do new things like they kind of offered me to do um eventually get my license and do um you know spray technician or be a spray technician i'm sorry so it's just opportunities like that that i was looking for i'm really pumped to be able to film from a new course uh that's on or right near the ocean and there are a lot of boats that go by i think that's gonna be really cool um i'm probably not gonna do it the first week or two that i'm there i want to be respectful i want to learn my job and feel comfortable in the duties that i've performed before i ever bust out a camera um so yeah, so I'll, I'll try to 
on my lunch break, at least walk around and show you as much as I could show you in the first weeks there. I also want to be um, transparent and, and paint a realistic picture as possible for anybody that's interested in doing this. Um, so just some of the terms of like uh, my employment there. Um, the club only pays for 70% of your health care. Um, so just know that going in. Um, things like how much vacation time do I get? I only get one week per year um, vacation and I have to work a whole year before I even get that. So keep that in mind. If you're someone that likes to travel and take a lot of vacation or have a family, you don't get a lot of um, vacation days. Um, let's see, sick time. I only get sick, uh, six sick days uh, per year. Um, and I guess the only other thing is if you ever want to invest in the company's 401k plan or you know save for yourself, you're eligible for that after a year as well. So those are some of the terms of the deal. Um, as far as how much I'm getting paid, I'm only making a dollar more when I go to this new club than I would be here, a dollar more per hour. Um, but if I can get that license, then I can kind of jump to a whole near, new tier of, of income. So I don't know what that is, but you know, six down, months down the line, if I pass my test and get my license, I'll definitely share that with you. You guys might recognize this shot from the opening montage that I put in front of every video. This is uh, the eighth hole, uh, beautiful par four. There's a little water on the right. Um, but anyway, if you're wondering what um, day I start, it's actually gonna be November 30th, which is a Monday. So I have a little bit more time here at my current club. I have notified them that I accepted another position. Um, they were happy for me. They appreciated um, me letting them know so soon. Hopefully I can get someone in and, and train them. Um, but yeah, it's better than um, just kind of leaving people in the lurch. Uh, I've been here for a little bit and sometimes people just quit by sending a text message or just don't show up at all. Um, so yeah, anytime that you can give people an opportunity, because you never know, maybe... Um, Maybe I'll be back. I don't know. I don't want to burn any bridges. Yeah, so obviously I'm really pumped. I appreciate all the well wishes and the comments leading up to this too. Uh, you guys were awesome. Um, I'm, I'm glad I got it, uh, you know, for your sake as well. Uh, just because the time you took to wish me good luck and give me advice. I appreciate that. So, yeah, so I'm going to be still doing normal grounds crew work. Definitely for the first six months. There are... Uh, two spray technicians at this club one is leaving so in my interview i kind of wanted i said i wanted more responsibility um a chance to learn um maybe get a certificate or a license and i think they took that as well maybe we can plug him in as kind of a junior assistant to the other spray tech and over time he'll pick it up i feel like i did get lucky i don't want to set the expectation that that's a normal thing for someone to fall into. Um, I think I just got lucky, one, that that person, that one spray tech is leaving, and, and two, I have enough experience um, that they're willing to give me a shot to learn on the job and get licensed while I work there. So I'm very thankful for that. Great thing about these days with really high winds are golf balls just randomly get blown out of these shrubs. They're underneath the... Um, pine straw that gets blown out and they just find their way to the middle of the fairway or the middle of the cart path. It's crazy. Look, there's another one up there behind the tree. That's nuts. Let's go see what this one is. Callaway. Uh, it's pretty new. Chrome soft. Cool. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, I'm just really pumped and thank you guys for, you know, for subscribing to my channel and all the comments. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm ready to rock November 30th and take you along with me. But let's focus on our task at hand, which is I did want to go up here to the fifth green and show you um, the patchwork on the hydraulic green. So it should be all fixed now and you can be the judge of uh, how it looks.
I think it looks pretty good. That was actually done this morning when we were out mowing greens. So um, I'm sure, you know, it's going to blend in a lot better as time goes by. But yeah, uh, from where it was when the accident occurred to now, it's, it's pretty awesome. And while we're at it, why don't we just give an update on the sodding the tea boxes. Um, so here's how it's looking a pretty dry over here, to be honest with you. Um, uh, this isn't the best one that I've seen. Four were done that day. This one, um, yeah, I'm not really impressed. So this is one of my favorite vantage points on the course. I don't know, it kind of looks a gusty. It's got a little bit of elevation, which is rare for Florida. But anyway, it is lunchtime. So on this uh, big day celebration, we're going to Taco Bell. There she is. Well, not the like, trash area. Beyond that, that's Taco Bell. And I think we're gonna try something different. We're gonna go with the Nachos Supreme. I think, I don't know. It just dawned on me that after November 30th, I probably won't be coming back to that Taco Bell ever again, which makes me incredibly sad. But whatever's inside of this bag makes me incredibly happy. Let's go eat it. Just a quick story. Yesterday, we had the driving range open, but not the course. But a girl in those condos over there came out here and started sunbathing while there were people practicing. So, if you live on a golf course, then uh, I guess just be mindful of where you choose to sunbathe. So this area might look familiar. It's um, where I kind of talked about the interview for the first time and my reasons for even going on it. So I guess I just wanted to end the day in the kind of same spot we began a little over two weeks ago. Um, yeah, and sorry, not much happened in this video um, other than I felt like I owed it to you to tell you what was going on and uh, tell you that I'm excited and share that part of it with you. And I uh, can't wait for November 30th to come around so we can start on the new course. Thanks for coming with me today, guys. We'll be back at it tomorrow. I appreciate it.